1940. Mm. Oh, beautiful. Whoa. Nice. Wow. Nice. Mm. Oh, that's cool. 52, 59. Nice. Yeah. And do you remember, Tommy, the bars? We have a one that we yeah. have. I was looking at a 54 gold top oh, yeah? in New York. Huh? But Joe Bonamassa bought it. Oh, yes. He kind of snuck yeah. in there. But it was a. Uh, more of an original 54 with the... With the those are P90, yeah. P90. Buddy. I was What's happening? Doing? 10 o'clock. Fantastic Early. place. Isn't that great? Oh, it's great. How are you? Great. Fantastic. I just did, I hit 81. Can you believe it? I'm still standing. Well, there well, you go. I got we, Bill, Bill Kerbersley's right, right here. He just turned Look 81. Right. Eddie, so did hey. I. Oh, <laughs> nice to see you, my friend. That's amazing. We're still standing after all these years. Yeah. And yeah. still making music and being silly. Exactly. You guys That's give yeah. me hope because I got another 10 years. <laughs> exactly. You remember, do you remember that great engineer, Al Schmidt, who used to work at Capitol? I don't know if you remember him. Yeah. 22 Grammys, Frank Sinatra, every, everyone you can think of. He used to come into the control when we were mixing and stuff. And I'd say to him, Al, when I grow up, I want to be just like you. And he died at like 93, 94. So gives yeah. us hope, right? My so. dad was totally with it till 101. Mazel tov. That's brilliant. Yeah. Coming to concerts, he'd come to the shows. He was totally... Unbelievable. Yeah. Fantastic. My mom, too. She was almost... Yeah, she was 100... She, she almost, almost 101. And she got a, a letter from the Queen, <laughs> which was oh, even oh. funnier. <laughs> yeah. So, are you enjoying it? So, how are the boys? How are the lads? Everything, How's uh, Gene? Everyone's great. Yeah. Everybody's great. Everybody's great. The band sounds amazing. You know, the crowds are anywhere from, oh, I'd say 20 something thousand to 55,000. And uh, it's a beautiful yeah. thing. 50 years later, you know, it's. Uh, I can't believe it. You know, it, it's the, the the flash of time that has just gone by when you think about that first demo we did at Electric Lady in 1973, I think. Yeah, it may have been and, even a little earlier. So, yeah, and here we are. And 
you know, it's been 50 years, 50 years. Unbelievable. And it's... every night I look at Doc and, you know, you go out and you see, you know, 40, 50,000 people and you go, you know, 80,000 people. You go, this is absolutely right. insane. Insane. It's insane. Well, we love it. You, you have to embrace it, you know, with. It'll be okay on Friday because I bought 50,000 tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you go, Mr. Kirbishly. <laughs> Eddie, it's great seeing you. Oh, yeah. good. Lovely to see you. Thanks. Say hi to all, all the lads. Monsieurs, JR, you're the best. What Thank can you. I say? He's the best, JR. Come on. No, no, they no. broke the mold after him. That was it. You, no are, more you like are the best, him. guys. You are the best. Don't All yours. Right. All right, you lot. Have a wonderful evening. I'm Together, jealous buddy. that you're there. Thank you, Eddie. Cheers, Eddie. Stay well. Bye, my friend. Stay well. Cheers. Gene's very good. <laughs> the studio, fantastic. So you've got all the outboard gear, all the vintage Teletronics, you've got pool techs, everything in there. That's what I grew up with, the real stuff. So this studio with a Neve, come on, this is the real deal. Vintage instruments, I'm going to live here. <laughs> <laughs> Moving in. Moving in. When we first started out, when I was first playing music, and I was lucky, I was at Electric Lady. Yeah. Electric Lady Studios, I was 17, 18 years old. And that was magic, a magic yeah. place. And, uh, you know, there was a different time because in studios back then, you didn't have um, samples of things. You didn't have something that sounded like a Poltec. You had a Poltec. Yeah. You didn't have something that sounded like a Teletronics. You had a Teletronics. <laughs> um, all the equipment is things that people are trying to um, simulate, but it's not the real thing. Yeah. And when you have a studio where you have great outboard equipment, you get great results. And, you know, this Neve, you know, Neve to me has always been the heart and soul of classic rock. SSLs are nice boards, but Neve, there's something very special about them. And here you have a board. This one is, there's only three, Yeah. right? So, very amazing, you know, it's, uh, nobody does this anymore, you know, because people make, make music on their coffee table yeah. On a computer, Same. you know, that, you know, you need flesh and blood. You need real people making real music, people behind a console, you know, and being more concerned with how something sounds than how it looks on a screen. That's not music. Watching things, that's, if all the music that we loved, that we grow up loving, wasn't perfect yeah it was passion and nowadays we've reached a point where music is about perfection 
and none of the music we loved was perfect. And here's all the equipment you need. All you need here is people, somebody to work your desk, you know, and people out there to make music. So, you know, uh, this is my kind of, this is home to me, you know, this is, this is uh, rare, you know, you don't see this often, especially something new, you know, where somebody has built something new that is the next step. Let's say Electric Lady was a studio for the first 50 years. This is a studio for the next 50 years. Yeah. So it's, uh, I love it. You know, it's, uh, you'll have to throw me out sometime because I'm going to stay. Thank you, Paul. De nada. And uh, we, when we created the studio with Eddie Kramer, with uh, your friend for more than 50 years. Sure. And uh, we think in you, your beginning with Kiss and your, your soul. And I understand when you play from the 50 tons and 80 tons of people now, 50 years later, the audience understand you are real. And your music, music is real. Yeah. You, I think, you know, you can spend a lot of money, paint your face, mm -hmm. do a big show, but you have to be a band. Yeah. And, you know, some people don't understand, and I, it's okay with me because 80,000 people understand, but we, our roots are in the classic bands. I, when I thought first about the kind of band I wanted, I didn't think about makeup. Yeah. I thought about music. Yeah. I, I was lucky. I saw Jimi Hendrix with Mitch Mitchell and Noel Redding mm -hmm. twice. I saw Zeppelin. I saw Humble Pie. I saw Derek and the Dominoes. Mm -hmm. I didn't say when I first started playing, I want to paint my face white. Mm -hmm. I said, I want to be like that. Yeah. I want to deliver passion. I want to deliver um, the the soul of rock and roll to yeah. people. And then we thought, let's make it bigger. Yeah. But, you know, to me, a crappy band with a big stage show is a crappy band. Yeah. You know, yeah. sooner or later, you don't last unless you have have real roots. And um, that's important. And, you know, to come into a studio, you know, where you know you can do something great. This is, uh, it's exciting. It has to be exciting for you. Yeah, exactly. But you represent a mix for all this guy, Jimmy, C. Mario, yeah. and uh, all this guy. And you put in the, in the new step in, and for the infinite. Because uh, you you are the, the one of the biggest artists in the world, and the, you have the different generations, you know. You have the the guy sixty, and you have the kid for ten, because maybe it's for you are real. I think so. Uh, yes, I think you're right. Yes. I really do. You know, yeah. our audience isn't people even my age, not that many. There are people younger because they understand, and it's not about our age. It's mm -hmm. about the soul of what we do and the passion yeah. and believing in something. So it's an honor for me to look out and see six-year-old, 16, 36, 56, mm -hmm. whatever, yeah. because... I think that what we do, what I want it to be, is ageless. Yeah, exactly. you know. So, and uh, it's 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 it means a lot to me. And and when you first told me about your studio, and when I saw it being built, um, when I saw it on the the internet, when we were FaceTiming or he sent me photos, I was like, John Storick, you know. John did Electric Lady Studios yeah. and uh, Eddie. Um, so, you know, if you want to build a house, 
or a building, you have to have a strong foundation. Yeah. Otherwise, everything falls down. Yeah, so the foundation here is strong. That's why it's going to be a great studio. Yes. It's because, like the tree, your beautiful tree outside, yeah. if it doesn't have deep roots, falls over. Exactly. So the studio is, a, is about roots and, and about things that have lasted and should last. So it can be new, but the roots are old. Yeah, because our root is your, your mark, the way. It's our road. Thank you for, for staying here. Eh? Ah, de nada. Thank you for your friendship. Ah. Every time. You too. Thank you too. You. It's an Thank honor. You very much. Sold out show. Look at this. Boy, am I hungry. Thank you for a beautiful guitar. Muchas gracias. Awesome. Great guitar. I'll take it home.